EpiStop is a multi-center EU project aiming at improving epilepsy in individuals with tuberous sclerosis complex, or TSC. The study has two goals. A first aim was to compare standard treatment of epilepsy with preventive treatment in infants with TSC. The second goal was to identify biomarkers that can predict the development of epilepsy in a child with TSC. How did we do it? And what did we find out? Bear with us. Four years ago, Epistop recruited 101 infants with diagnosed TSC, male and female, of up to the age of four months. Five laboratories from Europe and the US collaborated together with 10 clinical sites in Europe and Australia. The clinical trial consisted of two parts. An observational part, with serial video EEG recordings and epilepsy treatment according to the local routine clinical practice. Vigabatrin was the recommended first-line treatment. In the randomized part, standard treatment with Vigabatrin started after onset of clinical or subclinical seizures was compared to preventive treatment started because of epileptiform abnormalities on EEG but before the onset of seizures. The study showed that preventive vigabatrin treatment delayed onset of seizures, reduced risk of drug-resistant epilepsy, the number of anti-epileptic drugs required, and the number of days with seizures. The study also showed that a first abnormal EEG or seizure onset at younger age is associated with higher prevalence of developmental delay or autism. The prevalence of these was higher in patients with drug-resistant epilepsy. No patients in Epistop presented severe neuropsychological deficits at two years of age. This is likely due to the close monitoring. Based on the study results, Epistop can formulate several clinical recommendations. Early diagnosis is a must. It enables close monitoring and early intervention for epilepsy, developmental delay, and autism. Serial video EEGs should be carried out every four to eight weeks in the first two years of life, and neurodevelopmental evaluations should be carried out every six months. This close monitoring helps to improve epilepsy and neuropsychological outcome. In order to identify biomarkers for epilepsy development, Patients underwent MRIs, neuropsychological tests, blood samplings, and video EEG recordings at regular time points. MRI characteristics, as well as multiple microRNAs, were identified as potential biomarkers for epilepsy development. Human TSC brain tissue obtained in patients who underwent epilepsy surgery proved useful for validating several microRNAs as epilepsy biomarkers. For the full report, click the link below or visit us at www.epistop.eu.